On days like this, it's no surprise 85% of Australians live within 50 kilometres of the coast. But a new report claims our lifestyle is under threat, predicting sea levels could rise 80 centimetres by 2100. That is going to really increase the chance of climate, uh, especially sea level extremes around the world, but including uh, Australia. Over two and a half years, Professor Rowling joined scientists from the ANU and Southampton's Oceanography Centre comparing sea levels over millions of years. Discovering since the Industrial Revolution, levels have risen ten times faster. That is a considerably alarming scenario. Parts of our coastline transformed. Sydney's Bondi Beach, narrower. The harbour lapping onto piers at Circular Quay. Sylvania waters will be underwater. In the suburbs of Brisbane, the risk of flooding and storm surge greater. Parts of the Gold Coast also at risk, while in the west, Mandra, south of Perth, submerged. When Parliament resumes next year, the political heat will be turned up in the Senate. The Abbott government determined to repeal the carbon tax legislation, much to the disappointment of the Greens and climate change scientists. We obviously accept the science of climate change. The carbon tax is spectacularly failing to reduce emissions in any meaningful way. We cannot afford to have the only legislation we've got that is reducing emissions torn down. Well, I think it's inevitable we have to go somewhere like a carbon tax. The Greens and Labor will block the bills. We are living in a climate emergency. The Environment Minister highlighting a decision to spend $9 million on a climate change research centre at Griffith University. We need to look at the likely effects and protect property, protect the environment and protect our investments. The research centre will deliver its recommendations within a year. Lauren Ginoli, Nine News.